Today I'm going to be putting together the Iron Ton 40 by 48 inch steel utility trailer by Northern Tool. We're going to go step by step giving you a visual to go along with the manual. The only thing not included in this video is the installation of the lights as our intended purpose for the trailer is to be used around our property and not on the road. We are a homesteading channel but we also do a lot of videos similar to this one including DIYs and putting things together. So if that interests you at all make sure to subscribe and let's hop right in. We're building a trailer. We're building a trailer. In preparation of next year and next year's projects. I figured we'd need a trailer, just a small little thing I can tow behind our our mower. It is a trailer from Northern Tool. I never shot there before, so I hope I can give them a good recommendation. We'll see. It is a 40 by 48 inch uh, tow behind utility trailer. It's made for vehicles, not necessarily made for um, a mower, but it should do the job. Okay. Let's put this bad boy together. I'm ready. Or bad girl. Who knows? Bye. Attach the three centerpiece rails to the left and right rails using the M10 20 millimeter hex bolts. Pay attention to the direction the rectangular holes are facing. Two will face one direction, while the third should be positioned facing the opposite direction. The one facing the opposite direction will be the front of the trailer. Before you get too far, make sure you're checking all four corners for square, as it's easy for the dimensions to get skewed once you start tightening the bolts. Once the frame is assembled, turn the frame upside down and attach the tow bar. The orientation of the bolts does matter, so make sure the top of the bolts are facing what will become the top of the trailer. Bolt the spring hangers to the front left and front right of the trailer using two bolts for each. This time, attach the spring hangers to the rear left and rear right using only one bolt for each hanger. Then place the two spring plates over the rear hangers as shown. Place the springs in the spring hangers that were just installed, while keeping the eye of the spring facing the front of the trailer. Once the springs on both sides are installed, mount the axle over them, with the receiving hole on the axle facing the springs. Secure the axle using the spring plate, U-bolts, and nylon nuts. Gently slide the wheel onto the axle. Then place the 3 quarter inch washer and castle nut. Tighten the castle nut, but make sure that the wheel is able to spin freely and without resistance. Once the wheel is secure, insert the cotter pin into the castle nut and spread the pin. Apply grease to the inside of the dust cap and attach the dust cap to the hub. 
With the wheels now installed, flip the trailer right side up. Secure the coupler using two M10 bolts and nuts. If you are using the trailer on the road, you will need to install the chain and lights at this point. The last thing to do is just bolt the fenders onto the sides of the trailer. All in all, the trailer was easy to put together, is solid, and has been used on many projects around the property. This little utility trailer has been a great investment, and I'd recommend it to anyone who needs a small, durable, and customizable trailer. Well, let's get started. Do you have any what kind of trailer, you might ask? What well. kind of trailer do you have here? <laughs> <laughs> well, since you asked. You saucy guy. <laughs> Hi. Hi. <laughs> okay, what are we doing today? There's a caterpillar over here. Hop on, I'll give you a ride. There you go. This is like, I mean, you think about the lights photographer too. Yeah. They're like this soft white light. Uh -huh. It's great filming weather. <laughs> you look fabulous, dear. Creepy. You in my booty? No.